In this video, I'm going to show you how I animated this bird and this mushroom using Calipeg on iPad. First, let's talk about the mushroom. I make only the mushroom layer visible. This is a simple drawing exposed to 65 frames. It's almost 3 seconds long, since this shot is set to 24 frames per second. Then the mushroom squashes using two sheets, exposed to 1 and 3 frames. Squashing the mushroom creates the anticipation. Be careful about the volume, which has to stay consistent. If it squashes vertically, it has to stretch horizontally. Here, I made the mushroom foot rounder and rounder, while maintaining the line's ends at the same place. Then the spring occurs and there is a large spacing. The spacing is the physical difference between two drawings in the canvas. This drawing here is very far from these drawings. We can see this with the onion skin. That's how you create this increasing speed effect. Then, to counterbalance it, the head will go back and forth. Here is what is called a knees out, when two drawings are very close so the speed is decreasing. These drawings here are exposed to 4, 4 and 6 frames to accentuate the slowing out. The spacing and the exposure are tools to create your timing. Then it goes to the left with the same principles. Then there is a knees in here, drawings close to each other, large spacing here for the speed and a knees out. Then back to the same pose and the first one to make the loop going. Let's summarize it. We have a still pose, then an anticipation, the speed increases, then slows down, is in, speed up, is out, and back to the first pose. Now let's talk about the main character of this shot, the bird. I have other layers for the bird animation. The body layer is a simple still drawing exposed to 29 frames. In a few minutes, I will add it in a transformation layer to create the movement. Then I have a wing layer, two drawings for the wings flapping, which I add into a cycle. It's now a loop that I can extend or compress, and the drawings will be repeated. As a reminder, to create a cycle, you draw on different drawing sheets. Then you select your drawing sheets with the tap and tap drag. I increase their exposure here. I create a cycle here and extend it to create my animation loop. These drawing sheets are linked. So if I draw something here and then here, it will be repeated in my loop. So I have my flapping wings and two other drawings for when the bird lands. I select the layers and add them into a transformation layer with the diamond icon. Then I added five animation keys and the animation will be interpolated automatically. So I can animate a still bird's body with flapping wings and decide afterwards what will be the flight path. And I can even modify the path on the canvas itself or by going into the advanced settings with the curves. Let's create it from scratch in a new shot. First, I draw my mushroom. Then I double tap to select and extend it to 48 frames. I can also do that here. I have to long touch and drag the markout marker, which indicates the end of the play and export of the animation. I add a drawing layer. I draw the bird's body. Now I add another drawing layer for the wings. One drawing here and a second one like that. Select. Set exposure to 3, for example. Then add in a cycle and extend. I select the two bird layer and I add a transformation layer, which will contain these two layers. I move the pivot point in the center with a finger on the canvas. At frame zero, the bird is here. It's a bit big too, so I can just scale it down. So frame zero, it's here outside the canvas. Then it's here. And in the middle, it could be here. I can go to the advanced settings here, select one or several keys, and define the curve type to add some ease in, ease out. Then the wings will need to stop when the bird has landed on the mushroom. So I go back in my normal timeline. I will compress the cycle and add a new drawing sheet here that I will double tap and extend. I'm using the beta version of Calipeg here, so the version of development. So it's possible that you don't have access yet to this feature where you can draw while the transformation layer is active and you have a visual here of your moving transformation. So if you don't have access to it, you have to disable the transformation layer and then draw 
on your drawing sheet. And that's how you animate a bird landing on a mushroom. Back to our shot, I added two other layers here to animate the rest of the bird animation. The last wings flapping, then it turns around. I will just set the mushroom to be more transparent. You can see here the is out and the large spacing. Then it will hit the mushroom. Those two drawings here are probably the same, just copied and pasted. To copy and paste, you can use a floating menu here with a copy, paste and cut icons. And the bird will follow the mushroom when it comes down and up. I'm using the transformation tool to move my elements. And you can also select several sheets and move them around. And then the bird is basically pushed into the sky and then it's not there anymore. I also added a few background and foreground elements. One bush in the foreground that will move right after the mushroom moves. It's important that animation has an effect on other elements. If something moves somewhere, it can influence the rest of the environment. Then I added colors, a few bushes in the background, two layers for the sky and some clouds. To draw bushes or clouds, you can use the freehand fill shape tool in the brush panel. Tap once to select the tool and then tap again to get the fill version of this tool. Then I choose the brush I want and I can just draw my shapes. It could also be used to draw some random silhouettes and imagine some characters or vehicles. I also added some spores under the mushroom head using a few drawings here exposed from 5 to 6 frames because here this is the same drawing so it's 5. And to get a final touch I added some feather animation. That's it for this video. I hope you learned useful things about animating using Calipay.